prepared? I no, I have nothing Nothing. prepared. I'm just glad. Well, we should have. uh, Oh, can we talk? Why, of course we can. Yes, we can. Oh, you're reading my. I'm reading. uh, I haven't read what you wrote. I didn't give you time. (laughs) (laughs) It's fine. Connie Grennan, girl, you are the first one on today. Uh, Jerry Castor is here. Carol Barbo. Miss Charlie is on. Good morning. Lisa Caldwell is here, and Diane is here. Hello, AA ladies, she said. Let me turn this off. Um, Let's see, Rita is here. Good morning, and Marlene, and Miss Pat Knoyer. Lois Hickey says hello. Um, Oh my goodness. Three and a half inches. Three and a half inches and counting. Well, there was quite the fireworks show last night in the sky. All the lightning that direction was beautiful. I just stood. Of course, we were in this pocket. We had plenty of lightning and all that going on to the south. We had plenty going on to the north. Mm -hmm. We were in a dry pocket again. We do think we got about a half inch of rain, which was great. I I don't know how much we got. It came down. I was actually awake when it finally came through Bueller, which is not necessarily a good thing. I I had a struggle to go to sleep last night, but I got there, and uh, (laughs) then I struggled to get up in the morning. Oh, fun. Denise says, we've been riding mountain bikes this morning from the grandkids. Fun. I know that uh, Ruthie got a new bike this weekend from um, their visiting family up in St. Louis, and they saw one. Ruthie is growing like a weed. She needed a new bicycle. So, good. And hello to the grands. Um, Let's see. Who did I miss? Vernita, uh, look at those cute glasses Vicky is wearing. Which ones am I? Yep. yep. I'm wearing my pink ones. <laughs> I found these. You know, I, I tend to have multiples of a certain of pairs. Really? I know. I know. Oh but I my. lost my pink ones, but I found another pair of pink ones. That's so. very cool. There is Chi Chi, good morning to you. And uh, Vernita and Jerry Castor says, lovely rain here this morning. There is Darcy and Roxanne. She says, hello, AA friends. Love that. Uh, Anne says, I'm having a good hair day. Just thought I'd let you know. Thank well, awesome. You. We want to celebrate <laughs> you need to send that. a picture. Jill says, you have new glasses? No, I just refound old glasses. There you go. Yeah, just found, you know, I have them tucked everywhere they're in every suitcase tote bag glove box in the car and yet i still will get places and be like where's my glasses i don't have them uh yeah not so much me they they live on my nose and uh except when i go to sleep see that's the difference when you pay ten dollars for glasses and you pay 500 for your yeah no it was big difference Um, Anne says it's been a steady downpour here, and that's in Cheney. Mm-hmm. Cindy says we've been getting all kinds of rain this morning. We are loving it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Kelly says loved that lightning show. Yeah, it was something. I just I turned the porch light off. I stood there and just watched it happen. Um, love that. Pat says 30 hundreds here, cloudy and cool this morning. Nice. And uh, Chi Chi says big storm here too. Um, Diane says only 27 hundredths in South Hutch, but still raining, and we will take it. Absolutely. Um, Cindy says we've received three inches in Wichita. It's awesome. <laughs> Lois, we had one inch. That's in Inman. Cindy Parcell, good morning, all you AA ladies. Uh, Anne says my dirt road is not passable this morning. Probably going to have to call the county. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, Velma Um, said uh, just under an inch. What is that? Three? Yeah, two miles north. Yeah, but is that, would you say that three quarter? Three quarter of an inch. See, me and my math skills, (laughs) 0.75, it was three quarter. It is. I know that now, and I knew that Two miles north of Bueller. Um, Lana said, my hubby had four and a half inches at his shop by the airport. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Jerry Maybe says, your five inches was closer than it, you thought. I came in. Um, my one of my hummingbird feeders was l- listing to the right when I woke up this morning, so I went out there to to fix it, and I checked the rain gauge, and it 
there were five inches of rain in there and I looked around and I thought to myself, self, self, it does not look like five inches of and rain. And what did here. yourself say? You so said, I I'm going to take in. that to my and husband. Yeah, <laughs> Jack was still in bed at this point. And I brought it in. I said, it says five inches. He was like, Oh, I should have dumped that last night. I was working on the sprinkler there. <laughs> and he said, that's not just rainwater. That's, uh, yeah. But Jerry said, not sure our amount. It's still raining. Can't see our gauge. Um, Cindy Parcel, I'm probably going to come over today to pick up. Very good. Okay. We'll see you soon then. Um, Jerry says, uh, Lana Brule, wow. Uh, Anne said, I often have readers on my head, readers hanging from my shirt, readers on my eyes, sometimes all at the same time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. I'll have one Vicky, on top of my head. Vicki will be one. like, where did I, where are my glasses? And she always starts here. <laughs> yeah, I start and here because I... And then she'll look around I'll do the and full body like, pat down. <laughs> or you're wearing them. <laughs> you're wearing them. Cindy said, we've got almost a quarter of an inch this morning. Awesome. Uh, Vernita said, we had a crazy storm Tuesday. Yes, and we even heard you mentioned on the national weather news. So, yeah, they did have a crazy storm. Um, Ann's got phone buffering. We're going to just have that. Uh, let's see. Jerry said, I'm sure our dirt road is a muddy mess this morning. Uh, it w Our dirt road was a muddy mess. Um, yeah. Connie said, KWCH said, Mac had a half inch last night. Very good. Uh, Cindy said, I hope it rains tonight in Derby and then they cannot shoot off fireworks tonight in my neighborhood. I got four hours of sleep oh. last night, tired of the fireworks. I believe it. Yeah, <laughs> we still had it going off at 11.30. Oh, yeah. I looked at, well, 11.20. And then it, but that was just like here, there, and then it finally... Mm. Of course, my husband can sleep through anything. <laughs> <laughs> Susan says, forgot it was Wednesday. I'm at Grand Island, Nebraska, enjoying the Littles. That is awesome. That uh, is awesome. And there's Sherry. Uh, good wet morning. They got a one and a half inches, I'm assuming, in Newton. So mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Chi Chi said, my daughter and I watched fireworks from the middle of I-435. Oh. <laughs> Probably not on purpose. No. Um, Ann says, getting a manicure and pedicure today. Awesome. Love those days. Um, Melanie said, hi, ladies. This is my last day in Washington. We hit the road to Kansas in the morning. What a fabulous trip, though. Oh, my goodness, Melanie. I just, I, yeah. I, I love that you did it. I do, too. Epic road trip. Uh, Washington bet. State to Georgia. Wow. Um, let's see. Cindy said, the kids love lighting them. Oh, yes. Are we open for pickup today? Absolutely. We will be here until 3 or 4. I don't know. You're the, you're the boss. Are you <laughs> leaving three early or, four. or am I? <laughs> if you're going to be here after 3, just call and we'll yeah. stay. But if, uh, if, if not, we'll, we may go home around 3, just depending. Um, Pat said, we've had 10 days of noise, not a fan, but after about the third day. <laughs> uh, great 4th of July. Uh, we had such a low-key 4th of <laughs> July. I mean, we were, we were exhausted by last night. Mm. We, we had gone out early, tried to beat the heat outside, and, um, yeah, then went it back out in the evening when mm -hmm. it was cooling down and got some more things done. So, yeah, we stayed home. No fireworks. Our neighbors, you know, we don't have close neighbors, but our... You don't need close neighbors, neighbors when they're buying. Their kids must have grown up because they, they didn't have much going on for fireworks. So, uh, yeah. we, we had quite a few around, but we were invited um, by our, our Sunday school class to go to... Uh, Sterling uh, oh, to theirs right. but BJ had to work today I had to work today and it it gets late and I know I'm getting to be an old fogey and so is BJ but then my dad called and the Sunshine Meadows retirement community here in town puts on a little show and little you know, soiree yeah it was probably 15-20 minutes but yeah. I, it was I tell you Fireworks or not, the people we sat on the driveway with 
were pretty fun. <laughs> and uh, so we enjoyed some time with my dad and stepmom, and then her daughter and husband, Willie and Courtney, were there. Love and uh, and then several other ladies from their hall, <clears throat> where their apartments are, were all sitting out there. One of them had brought snacks, and she goes, Love but that. I'm not serving them, so you have to get up here and get them yourself. And <laughs> we sure did. I mean, we had a we had a, a quite fun time, but we saw all the lightning too, plus Which fireworks. Plus, we could see the hutch fireworks going wow. off. And then we could see red, I mean, all over Bueller, because yeah. we're on the, that would be on the west, uh, southwest kind of corner of Bueller. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was you all around us. See. That's we did. good. Lisa's got to go. Catch the rest on replay. I have PT this morning. Very good. Uh, Diane said, guess we're getting old. We not only stayed home for the fourth, also stayed inside. Yep. Pulling up <laughs> our, our rocking chairs to the picture window and watched everyone else's fireworks. Lots of fireworks uh, in our area. I loved it, but I'm retired, so I don't have to get up early. That's there you awesome. Go. Um, yeah, we were outside, but we really didn't see any. We came Saturday night to the mm. Pueller fireworks, and I told Denise, we did not even speak to one person. We kind of zoomed up late right as it was going to start we we were in a field there were hardly any other cars in that field and we just got our chairs out and the closest person was way way down the row from us so yeah it was it was very quiet but it was okay i did send a, a video to our kids because normally they're here um. and they they're they were with other their other families sure. this year and i just said i missed having them here because it's so fun with your little people uh, melanie said we watched fireworks from my niece's driveway last night there's a river down below across the river is another county and that county is allowed to set them off sure. awesome so you got a good spot that is fun um but yeah but well we had plenty to talk about this yeah. morning yeah just stuff going on in in our lives and I told Denise, I feel like I'm living a double life right now. <laughs> There's this life that you see me, hair's washed, earrings are in, got a Makeup bra, on. bra is on, bra is on, um, shoes on, <laughs> all that stuff. And there's the other me that you possibly ran into at, um, you know, Home Depot this weekend, or Menards, that you would have never recognized me because you know how. I've always had a certain amount of pride in, that I'm not going to go to town looking like a ragamuffin. But when you're out working out there like we have been and just sweat rolling and hair in a ponytail and the whole red as a tomato um, and you are missing a part that you, you need in. to keep your project going, yes. you do not want to go no. take a shower, do the whole thing, no. go to town, come back to just get all hot and sweaty again mm -hmm. so i did stay in the car one time because i was like i, I am, am not, not <laughs> people could smell me coming oh, i was so sweaty I, and I hot totally get that and I, so but but i think we ended up running we went to wichita once we went to hutch twice uh to pick up a part and um yeah yeah one of our neighbors rented a um oh just like a me. fun tool a it looks a really fun, fun motorized tool a little uh, digger, little thing. digger with, thing why can't i come up it's with it's like a mini excavator there you go but it, that's not what they call it that's not what they call it but it's all right and we had a whole bunch of bricks on the bottom level or lower level of our patio area that my dad had put in with um concrete and um the we have a large uh, maple tree there and the root system was just playing havoc with all those bricks. So it was uneven, it was going all over the place and whack a, whack -a doodle. So we got this little uh, skid loader. Thank and you, we thank skid you. It in. We skidded in. <laughs> My husband and our neighbor who had rented it, those guys, and uh, another neighbor came over because he kept hearing the beep, 
beep, beep, and said, there's stuff going on over here. We, but anyway, we got all that brick up. Now we have a pile of large pieces of heavy brick in concrete that we need to figure out. But that's for another day. That's another we, day. We have an empty pallet, and now we're going to dream up a deck. Ooh. We'll have to dream a long time because we can't afford it right now. We have too many other projects in the uh, in Oh, the my works. goodness. Well, let's see. Um, what did Connie say? Connie said, I had just gone inside and had my son's diesel, heard my son's diesel coming down the street. I can always tell his when, <laughs> when I hear it. He wanted two things. One, use my bathroom. Two, share one of his final fireworks with me. He had the truck door open told me to head for the house. I would say it was, it was a, a little, little questionable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and let's see, Pat says, my brother's birthday was on the 4th, so always had a celebration with a fireworks cake and homemade ice cream. Sounds fun. Uh, Ann says, I baked four loaves of artisan bread yesterday. See, Ann and I are soul sisters. I love baking bread. I haven't obviously been doing it because of the what the way we're eating but um love i love i think it's very therapeutic <laughs> pat says good for you vicky living life um yeah i think i've traded in working here not that hard for working like a dog, a dog. in the garden <laughs> <laughs> and i am i've lived inside in climate controls for 41 years and it's hot outside in the summer in Kansas well, and humid. And we had a lot of humidity along with moments of breeze and you'd have yeah. like, oh, that's not so bad. Yeah. I could do this. And then all of a sudden it'd just go still. And yes. you'd be like, <gasps> yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, one, I did feel One that. of our projects that we're on right now in the garden is putting down <laughs> straw under all the plants and between the rows, which doesn't sound bad, except this is several pickup loads of straw that we've gotten done and we still need lots more. So, you know, we're, we're trying to get a whole new section of land into be, being good garden soil that has just been, had trees on it and all kinds of stuff. So it, there's a lot of work out there. <laughs> Um, but it, it's very rewarding to look at it. We have tomatoes now that are over eight feet tall. Oh my. Um, that's see. amazing. If I, I think I took this on my phone. Maybe I took it on Jack's phone. Oh, I must have taken it on his phone. Sorry. But here, I did make this. Mm. There's, um, it was called, um, Sweet and sweet and tang sweet and tangy um, pickled pickled red cabbage. So sweet and tangy pickled red cabbage, and it's not ready for about three days. It's right. a refrigerator deal. But we did taste a little bit of it last night. Pretty good. They suggested serving it like on street tacos, which Ooh, would be really good. Really good. Yeah. It's kind of a relishy thing. Uh -huh. um, but a salad with that. A salad with a that. A salad on the top. with you know. I know you can't have, or you wouldn't do the carb part of it, but you know, sort of a Southwest like type. Oh, black beans, uh -huh, corn, corn, that would be uh -huh. really good at, good at it. Roxanne said, a friend of mine has lots of potatoes and uses a skid steer to yeah. dig them. Skid steer, skid loader, I don't know, yeah. I call them wow. interchangeable. This one had a name, and that's the only thing I could think of. It was a Manitou. Okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking Manitou, Manitou, and, Manitou and skid, skid steer was like, woo, nowhere in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Chi Chi baked a cheesecake at her granddaughter's oh, request. That's awesome. lovely. Roxanne said, hot, humid, and bugs. Yes, the black flies are just driving me nuts. They don't touch Jack, but they love me. And um, Jenny, when I, when I get it, I'll show it to you all, but there's evidently a little bag that you can put out that's an attractant. They're sold out. We've looked everywhere locally for them, and I finally ordered some yesterday off of Amazon. Uh, that you wear they, on your person? No, <laughs> you, you put it away from where you're working outside oh, because it, it smells attracts. really bad. I gotcha. And it attracts flies, and um, Jenny and Trevor think it's really helping 
they're working out in their yard. Mm. Um, Anne said, I added potatoes, everything but the bagel, chia seeds, and hemp hearts. I bet it was delicious. Um, Anne said, not potatoes, pumpkin seeds. Oh, pumpkin seeds would be good, but mashed potatoes in your bread dough makes some really good bread as well. Um, let's see. Pat says, Roxanne, humidity is rare out here, but not pleasant. Um, yeah, it's Mel rare? Humidity is rare. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jenny and Trevor have no humidity. It's a really? desert. Oh, okay. I Western guess I was Kansas thinking. It's not humid. Oh, okay, because they're so close to Colorado. And well, they're it's just more, so or, dry. Yeah. I mean, there's just so dry out there. Huh. Sorry. I, yeah. I should know this. I'm a Kansan, right? <laughs> Melanie said, I wish we had good growing so soil. We have mostly red clay. Um, yeah, it's going to take a lot of, um, of compost <laughs> to make that into good soil. Talking about bug bites, uh, both BJ and I got a bunch of chigger bites over the week and, and mosquitoes, and they were going through my t-shirt. I had one on either oh. side of where my bra band goes around my back and they were just right on the band one was like upper oh, yeah. and one lower and you can't get to them no i mean when that's your what tear you scratch arms, arms for, right <laughs> <laughs> but every time i i have a smaller no i have this one or maybe but every time i do you know do this mine is getting so old oh, that it no. it turns or you know it's been it's, it's been, been well manipulated <laughs> too often so I have an old-fashioned... These old are fashioned, very important right now. I have an old-fashioned one that is just a stick. Oh. I've got that, too. <laughs> I, I went up to Aaron, my daughter. I'm like, could you scratch my <laughs> Anne said, I made BLTs yesterday. They're just not the same with store-bought tomatoes. I agree. And I made bacon on Monday, planning to have BLTs, and then our life just blew up. I saw you. Is that... Were those your tomatoes in the freezer or fridge? Um, I got those at the chicken auction. Yeah. I was going to say, those are yeah. beautiful. They I'm, are beautiful. I was going to be jealous. You can take them home. No. I, I um, won't take, I'll take maybe one, but, but BJ won't eat them. So. Oh, that's right. And, and Joan won't eat them either. So. <sighs> so. Diane said, I so want to work outside, but can't take the heat with my rosacea and my RA meds. So stayed inside, made blackberry cheesecake bars. <laughs> That sounds like a good trade. I've been wondering. Um, so I don't know if some of you can notice I have this like onion skin stuff here. I broke out in a rash and people were like, did you get into poison ivy or poison ivy? Yeah, I thought it looked and like poison ivy. I wasn't even outside when this thing broke out. I was. I hadn't been outside. So I can't imagine what if anything i would have even even if it was on somebody's clothes i wasn't i didn't do laundry i mean it just mm. it just breaks out and every so often i'll see like these white lines in my skin and often it's it's around things like that and mm. it'll just pop up and i don't know if it's a medication oh. or a I just don't know what's going on with me right now. Mm. I think You're I should. You're falling apart, well, just like we are. I mean, all are. All are. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. Well, <laughs> my diabetic doctor, and she just tries to make me feel better about myself. Very good. What a good job. Yeah, it's a hard job. Somebody's got to do it. Jerry says, Melanie, we built a box and brought in good soil. Now we have beautiful plants. There you go. Well, that's another idea, too, to do the raised bed. I do that. Oh, my goodness. Don't even get me started on watching TikTok gardening videos. <laughs> I have watched so many. There is this one. You know, we have our frustration uh. with deer, raccoons, um, kitty cats, uh, chickens. chickens all the things we have all these things that so we are trying to protect everything um there is a place and i just think this is a woman who finally had it <laughs> she built like like when you go to a zoo those cages that are really tall and they have um they have wire mesh on the top the sides the bottom she built this large enclosure and it's like they must live somewhere where the deer are just crazy bad yeah but they built, it looked like at least 12 feet high. It's completely um, surrounded in metal grid, basically. Gr metal You've mesh. You've got everything you with need. With raised, uh, raised, raised beds in the middle. 
I'm oh, looking yeah. forward to this in your future. This is happening. <laughs> well, it gets so frustrating. Oh yeah. When they come and eat everything that you that you plant. So I I expect <laughs> at some point to see you coming in here. I'll with, just take with, all the grid down with crisscross <laughs> applesauce like tan lines from, from working way. in your grid house. Yeah. Well, we have enough grid we could build a you, grid house. I'm just saying. But. I think it's an awesome idea. Anne says, serve that on a wrap with a hot link or bratwurst. And that would be really good, too. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Pat said, flies were just crazy yesterday. It was covered. Yeah. I literally danced all the way back to the house. Yes, Pat, I totally get it. I'm just, ah, driving me nuts. Diane, do not fear. I will, I will be testing it out the minute it comes in. <laughs> these flies are making me insane. Well, they're biting this year, oh, too. Oh, they just bite terrible. They're really not very friendly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Melanie said, Jerry, I ended up using totes. We, ha we have plenty of totes, too. We do? Putting rocks in the bottom <laughs> and then soil at the top to grow my tomatoes and cucumbers. I hope they're flourishing when I get home. Awesome. Nice. Um, oh... Gigi said daycare sent one-year-old grandson home with hand, foot, and mouth, which we we know that that's gone through Bueller many times. Turns out it was bug bites. I believe it. It's just crazy. Um, Jerry said we had our holiday gathering Saturday evening. People in and out for several hours, and I'm still swatting flies in the house. Oh, I'm sure. Um, Anne said, I would bring you a loaf of bread today, but I know you're low-carbing. Thank you for not bringing it. I, I Of all the things, apples have, I have missed terribly, and, of course, artisan bread. Now, I will tell you, if I'm going to cheat on keto, it's going to be like with Redina's bread from Manhattan, a slice of toast from there. I am certainly not going to waste it on a slice of bread from the grocery store. <laughs> no way, Jose. Um, Patty, what hours are you here for pickup today? We are here now until at least 3 o'clock, possibly 4, mm -hmm. but uh, at least 3 o'clock today. Roxanne says she doesn't have an update, but a little girl is in the hospital from a bug Ooh. bite. So. Carol, mm -hmm. and that's too bad. Carol said, did you buy chickens at the auction? Did not buy chickens. Did buy... <laughs> four hanging baskets of beautiful flowers oh. and I don't think I've taken a picture of them um, two solid pink um, petunias and two variegated impatience oh yeah I looked at our house last night and I thought you know I started out with a theme of <laughs> yellow and red and I have almost I have some yellow and red yeah. I have every color because a month ago at the auction I bought flats of leftover stuff from a greenhouse uh -huh. planted all these plants didn't know what color so i have every color purple pink it's that gorgeous. dark purple um yeah it it but it looks kind of mishmashy now well my you know my my petunias have gone kind of uh long yeah. and and i know i need you to just, cut them down so i cut, cut them? them yeah you you can you have to make sure that there's little like where you cut, there's new stuff that's growing. Like when you okay. look at the leaves, there'll be a little, like a little section. And as long as you cut it to that point, but I did it once and then, yeah, life happened. But, but so, <laughs> Anne, you said, Denise, castor oil. Am I supposed to drink it? Am I supposed to slather it on my body? <laughs> what am I to do with castor oil? to fix my my breakouts here mm, we'll see we'll see we'll get I, a clarification I, people need to know well <laughs> denise needs to pat know. says diane i have rosacea too gets has to get out early to get the work done yep lana said bought some corn and tomatoes from gadderts here in wichita so good yes so gadderts has started the corn stands and yep. gadderts is all around us right. out where we live and we're driving to church on Sunday, and Jack sees a giant pile of, like, I don't know, discarded or, or not not worthy of being a gathered corn. Or, there's a big pile, and he's like, oh, that would make the best compost. I wonder if I can track them down, because he hates to let it go to waste 
and it's just gonna, you know, yeah, rot out there. Um, so I don't know if he'll be able to to get that or not, but he'd like to he'd like to get some of that to put in the compost pile. Diane said, put up 14 bags of corn off the cob from Gaddard's. Oh, that will taste so good this winter. Oh, so good. Um, uh, uh, Roxanne said, Lana, thanks for the reminder. Going to check in Salina tomorrow. Yep. And Lana says, Jerry, they were open yesterday at 21st and 119th. Um, Melanie said, what are your hours Saturday morning? We're here from 10 till 12 on Saturday. Um, every Saturday. So, uh, Jerry said, Lana, I think they closed early. It was a little after two. Yep. When they run out, they close. So that's, you gotta, you gotta get there. Um, cause they're, they are only selling corn that was picked that morning. They don't resell any right. corn that's been there all day. Um, Jerry said, Lana, I want corn and Georgia peaches. <laughs> oh, Chi Chi sent us some pictures, so I'll look that up if you want to keep going. Sure. She's, she was saying something about um, they, they actually pulled over on, on uh, 435 to watch, and cars zoomed past them. So. Oh, my uh, goodness. She's not kidding. <laughs> there they are on the freeway, stopped. <laughs> There's fireworks. That's pretty funny. Uh, Jerry bought a case of peaches from somebody, oh, the, oh probably the Gatterts last year. Froze them and they were good all winter. Uh, let's see, those chiggers could find very uncomfortable yes. places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I look like a crazy old woman in my black joggers with black socks pulled up over it. Gloves, long sleeve shirt, and big straw hat. Oh, yeah, goodness. That sounds like one of my outfits. That um, Yeah. Looks like McPherson sprayed for uh, mosquitoes just before the weekend. Uh, not one bite. Way to go, Connie. Uh, oh, my goodness. Marlene says, our brother in Minnesota had beautiful hanging baskets with beautiful flowers, someone stole the baskets. That's just naughtiness. I uh, hate that. Uh, yeah, don't drink it, Lois tells me. It's horrible. That's the castor oil. Uh, well, just go back up to one. We had, Roxanne said, Jerry, I saw an interview of a Georgia peach grower. Pretty sad. I'm sure prices will be reflected. Mm. Yes, Georgia has had um, some real issues with their peach crop. Free freezing early in the season. Oh, shoot. Sydney Parcell just got her kids off t or headed home to Oklahoma. She'll miss the grands. Absolutely. Oh, but just think you'll be able to sleep today. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Every time we got the flu, we would get a dose of castor oil and orange juice. That sounds very yucky. It does. Ugh, and Cindy had the same thing. What does castor oil do? Um, I don't really know. I know people say, I mean, I know some people believe in it, but I have not gotten any confirmation yet from... Uh, uh, Lois said, clean you out good. Yes, I think oh, that is what well, it does. There's, a, there's other things that are more enjoyable that will do that. <laughs> and um, it says Georgia has lost 95% of its crop. Uh, yeah, it's... It's very tough on those farmers. Pat said we get Colorado peaches here and heard prices will be high from them too. Yes, we love mm. uh, Palisade is our favorite peach peach place. Um, well, we really should give some money away. And we get should. To it, but I have, um, have I have a new project that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to tackle... I, I need you all to hold me accountable. I'm going to tackle the deep freeze. <laughs> the what? Well, the deep, the freeze. deep freeze. Oh, no. Organizing the deep freeze. There is... N the, the deep freeze lid only gets opened about once a month to make sure that it's still running. It's kind of a, a cold storage unit. <laughs> but I have... Right now, it houses all of our unused um, egg cartons. And once you people know that you have chickens, they bring egg cartons. And there's times we have almost none. But right now, like <laughs> the deep freeze is stacked, probably a good two feet tall with egg cartons. 
So um, there's a shelf here I'm going to nab and take home and do a little reorganizing in, in my house. But so I'm getting around to a real question. Do any of you have the um, food sealer bag things? I what do. are those called? You do? You like it? You do it? I, I don't take it out as often as I should, but when we have a soup bone or something um, from a ham or something like that, okay. I'll, I'll do that rather than... You know, stick sticking it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Well, I just thought if you have one of those food sealer things, just let me know if you like if you like it. I don't need to hear about the ones you don't like, but if you like it, just let me know what brand you're using because I think I'm I'm gonna buy one. Um, so, haven't well, used the bags. Oh, Jerry says yes. I have a sealer. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind, just. Um, you know, or take a picture of it and send it to me on Messenger, because there are a lot of them out there, lots, and there's a big price difference in them. I've never owned one, but I thought, if we're going to just start over and clean yeah. that out, I don't want to put stuff in there that's going to get freezer burned. Sherry said, just said yesterday we had to defrost our freezer, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, I... Uh, I've been not a good steward with anything that goes into that freezer. It's hard. Deep freeze. We have a chest style freezer. I would never do that again. Mm. I would do an upright, yeah. I, you know, uh, where you can get to it. Cassie has an upright. So much easier to see what you've got in there. It is. I, um, I, mine is fairly small, but it is an upright. And uh, it's still, you know, I still need to defrost it. Still get buried. But, uh, but yeah, I... I I like it way better. I a chest freezer yeah. is hard to it, manage. It's like you know a coffin for anything that gets put in there. So. True. <laughs> Pat said, Roxanne, we have a person who drives to Palisade, brings a truck. Here's a retirement job for me. It is. I could drive to Palisade and I could bring home a suburban full of peaches. Um, oh, and Rocky Ford cantaloupe mm. and oh, yum! I love Rocky Ford cantaloupe. Uh, Joni said, agree, upright freezer. Um, Roxanne said, I have a chest, can get lots in, but it's hard to organize. Yeah, so I've been looking at organizing systems for your, of course. <laughs> uh, go back up a little bit. My daughter, somebody, my daughter from Texas is visiting my son in Walla Walla, Washington. It does my heart good oh. to see the photos of them together, having a great time. Today is their oh, last day together. Awesome. Oh. Don't you love that? Walla Walla is, is known for apples, but also I think they do cherries, big <laughs> cherries. Oh, my. Patty said, I have a seal -a meal still in the unopened package I bought six or seven years ago. If I can find it in the garage, you can have it. Awesome. There you go. I, that would be a great way to try it before I invest in one, or maybe it'll just be, be fine. That'd be great. Anova is the brand I have. Okay, I'm going to write it down. Anova. Okay. Velma said she uses her food sealer often. It really preserves my food much longer. It's a food saver. Thank you. Before we spin, I, I got one more announcement, and then I promise I will stop talking. Um... Uh, Jerry said sealed all the leftover smoked meat from our gathering. That's the kind of thing I want to do. And I told Jack, I don't want to like cut up all these vegetables. Right. Do all the work to put them in the freezer and then see a freezer bag full of ice. I know that I'm not going to use that. I know for a fact yep. I'm not going to use that. Right. It's going into the trash and it's too much work to just throw it away. Um, food saver. Okay, I'll put another mark beside that one. Thank you. Pat said, just bought a food saver vacuum and seal. Love it. Love, love it. Okay, let me know what brand you bought. I think uh, food saver. Food saver. Another food saver. Okay. All cool. right. Good to know. Um, tomorrow, manana is our mustard seed breakfast at 8.30. We have a small group, about six people, I think, have replied that they're coming. We would love to have you come. As we always say, we love seeing you here on our iPad, but we really love seeing you in real life person. 
Um, it's just fun to get together, to chat, get to know each other as real people. And uh, tomorrow's the day. We try, I sh I'm shooting for once a month. It's been at least six to eight weeks. Yeah. Since and I can't it. make it tomorrow because yeah. I have a doctor's Denise appointment. Is, but. Denise is out. But, um, and Cindy, yes, I have you down. Um, looking forward to that. But Joan will be here and Good. we'll we'll be hosting. Be so, Oh, my goodness. Pat said, dang root canal tomorrow. Uh -huh. Yes, I'd rather see you. And Roxanne is coming later with a friend. So nice. we're not going to see her for breakfast, but we'll see her in the afternoon. Okay, I'm closing my eyes, and I promised Whoops, I would. You got it. Oops. There you go. You got. There you go. Now you're good. I promised I would stop talking. Pretty hard for me to do. Cindy Parcell. Cindy Parcell is our winner. Winner chicken dinner. All right, Cindy. We are rolling the dice for you, except it's not dice and spinning <laughs> the wheel. That's we what I want. <laughs> we are spinning. dollars going to Cindy Parcell congratulations girl that's awesome and Patty says she'll be in today to pick up her stash very good Patty we'll look forward to seeing you here in a little bit or whenever you get here um, <laughs> Roxanne said oops Cindy I meant yes we get, we get it we're pretty good at reading um, typos uh, she says, yay, thank you, ladies. That's awesome. Cindy says, that's a win-win. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see. We're not going to see you again until Friday. Mm -mm. Abby says, money is in. Enjoy, Cindy. So, oh, tomorrow you have doctor's appointment. Yeah. So you're kind of, your and day's kind of taken. It is, and but we're, we're going to meet uh, my college roommate. Um, oh, yeah. And... Her husband are come flying in to visit their kids. They're, they live in California, and a bunch of other couples that you're either that are in the area. We're gonna get together, and so that should be a lot of fun. That That's in the evening, and uh, yeah, so very good. All good. Well, I so. think I have no big plans this this week, but Saturday. Uh, Grady's birthday, so we'll be headed to Garden City oh, fun. Um, this weekend, but trying yeah. trying to get everything. Of course, now that it has rained, that kind of stops a lot of our garden projects, but I have plenty of projects in the house that got put off because we were working outside. So um, This is what I yeah. finished. Oh, that's right. I finished this. Whoops, hold on. I got, I got too many things in my hand. This is the busy boy board for my grandson, and uh, the lights of his name light um, a letter per switch, and then the stop lights, stop yellow, red, yellow, green, are touch, touch lights. But I think it turned out pretty cool, and um, everything works. Finally buttoned that up last night, and. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he'll love that. I well, it he, he will. I it's got like it's got one of those little uh door what do you call that? It's like a boing boing mm -hmm. boing boing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, That's what it it's is. a door stopper. That's what it is. And I I glued the little uh like I used E6000 uh -huh. or something to glue the the little rubber thing on it cuz the last thing I want him to do is Pull that thing off and stick it in his mouth and choke on it. But so uh, changing the subject completely. So you all, some of you know my sister Sherry. Um, some of you don't, but she is her going to do her first live sale Ooh. Sunday night on WhatsApp. And so I signed up for WhatsApp so I could see her. I have WhatsApp. But anyways, there she's going to do a live sale on underwear. Uh, my sister sells a ton of underwear on Amazon and eBay, and so there's that going to happen. So if you want to, if you want to get on on that, um, just download the WhatsApp app, and then look for um, her. Her name on there is Flip It Good. Flip It Good, and she's got all kinds of underwear. You no, know, if you want 
fancy underwear, sets of underwear, naughty underwear, um, all kinds of all kinds of underwear. And so, so anyways, that's happening with my sister. And oh, let's see. There's a. We got enough strawberries. That's a little small cereal bowl, mm -hmm. but enough that we could have some fresh strawberries. And then these are the um, bread and butter pickles that I made, and they are delicious. Um, yeah, with one. cinnamon sticks in it. So nice. So that's a little bit of what I did get done this weekend. Let's see. Huh. I think that's it. I think that's a wrap. I think it's a wrap. Let's wrap it. <laughs> Ladies, we will see you back here at one o'clock this afternoon. Remember breakfast tomorrow. If you can work it out to come, just come. Don't be shy, just come. If you've never come to an in-person meetup with your AA ladies, it'd be a great time to get together. It's gonna to be a small group, but I think we're gonna have a fabulous time. Um, oh, Benita said my brother's name was Leon. Hmm. Nice. Cindy said, gonna to go to Nebraska over the weekend. Niece's 50th birthday. Love that. I, I love that you all go and you take us with you. So, alrighty, we'll see you back here at one o'clock. Have a great morning. Um, enjoy this beautiful rain. Bye. -bye.